Hey, hello, gang, and welcome to Grimrock Part 2 with Drew. So I just had gotten the gem, the secondary gem for the eyeball here, and we're gonna go put it in, see what gets us there. Put a new torch here. I mean, I suspect we'll open this door, so I'd better be ready for something. I think there was a skeleton or something. Oh, yes, there was. It's definitely what was there last time. I'm gonna back off till all the spells ready, and now we're gonna wham, bam, slam, bang. But I missed. Got a spear. some pokes. Mess with those. Let's do another fireball. Another mace. Got him. Alrighty, so. Shield seems like a good thing to give to a sword person. The spear. Alright, well. I know that spears have reach and can reach from the back. I know that Castle Fool isn't very powerful, but we're gonna give him one for now. So, what do we got here? There's a scroll here. Okay. RFO. Great rewards can be found behind these doors. Want to look for some small details. Aha! Alright, that was one, I guess. The one here? Kind of looks like it. Got it. Ah, and we got the door open. Cool. White wood wand, hey? Alright. Let's give the wand to... Whoops. Give the wand to Yadolf. Actually, she can't use it yet, hey? We're gonna wait until she has one spellcraft to use the wand. I'm gonna grab this scroll and read what it says. Powerful when wielded by a potent mage. Good to know. So Kazofu could wield that, but seems to me his spells are a little stronger than Adolf's at this point. So we're gonna let her wield the wand once she gets a level. Looks like everyone's pretty close to a level here. Okay, so this is those crystals I was talking about. Save. They heal you up. So. Nice. Oh, here. Scroll of Poison Cloud. Okay, so. She uses Earth Magic as well. Not yet, but she will be. As far as I remember. Yep. Actually, she does have that spell, so maybe that's the spell. I haven't used that yet. Fires three Earth Magic. There we go. Try it out. Poison Cloud. This guy. I'm down a level. <coughs> Some snails in here. Let's ready our spells. Got poison cloud out here. Seems to be kind of affecting him. Hitting him for a lot of hit points over time. Udolf and Castlefool gained levels. So, I give her one spellcraft. She can build a staff. I guess it's a wand. I'm gonna do up to five earth magic, three fire magic. As a fool, also has a level up. 
So, we don't actually have anything invested in Ice Magic yet. Three gives us a spell, so... I don't know the spell, although I don't technically know how to cast it. I do recall having cast an Ice spell in one of our other games, though, so I'm gonna try and figure it out again. I'm gonna put Air Magic up to five and gain ten Shock Resistance as well. I believe it was like this and this, maybe? Yeah, there it is. Ice Shards. My first spell. Or Ice Magic. Let's we'll grab everyone's hunger. I think it's time to eat a little bit of food. Eat some snail and some... Well, the mages appear to be a little less hungry than the, than the fighters will, so they're gonna wait a little while to eat. Something over here. App. That to send up. Got another snail. Was our Pothos game below? Pull him up as well. Put two points into armors. Actually, three points into armors. One point into. Snail slice. Food behind in Grimrock. Store up. Or there. There's a keyhole on it. Yeah, so we gotta come back. They're always good. Yeah, let's pull this lever. There's just some equipment in here. Ah. There, so. Double it has two protection. So does the peasants. But Zarpafo doesn't have a chest piece yet, so he'll get the doublet to start with. Some pants. Silcos have two protection. So do the peasants' breeches. All other pants have three. So it's time to start armoring up the mages a little bit. I'll give the silcos to Yadolf. Equip the three protection. And Moldrick. This is a dagger, which sounds like it'd be a little bit better than the knife. Pull the lever and see what happens. Oh, shoot. He has ranged attacks. I don't like that. There's two of them. I'm gonna back off. This way, at least there can't be two of them shooting little balls at me. I'm sending my whole team, too. Okay, I got him. Sandok gained his level as well. We're gonna go to five armors, plus ten health, and two athletics. So we gain ten health and one strength point from that level. Oh, and a machete. Well, let's check out. Whoa, that sounds like something's attacking me. Uh oh, there's a mushroom guy. Should have checked. Got too greedy with the equipment. 
wonder if he'll be susceptible to a poison cloud. Part of me feels like no, but I'm gonna try it. Aha, it's working. Another spark spell. Took him out. Oh, I just walked through my own poison cloud. A good plan. Alright, so in the meantime, I discovered a machete. Sword skill. Daggers, staggers. So now I actually have a sword. A good start here. A compass. An adventurer's essential. I feel like it's the Legend of Zelda now. I have found the compass. Da -da -da -da. Just for the record, did anyone even find the compass that useful when they play the Zelda games? I never really did. I mean, dungeons were never too hard for me. That's just me. Not to brag too much, I guess. Alright, we got the key for that door after facing some mean old mushrooms. Again. I'm not liking them mushrooms. Alright, so there's runes here. Shelter left. Cells right. Shelter, okay. Well, there's an empty sconce. Let's try putting a torch on it. Ah. <laughs> Looks like a helmet. But, uh, heavy armor requires something like, what was it again? 16 skill points in armor, so it'll be a while before anyone can use that. In the meantime, take a quick sleep. Oh, now what's happening here? What is happening? I agree. Collective dream. Oh yeah, I kind of remember this. So my whole party is having this dream. Oh, I know you. I know what you seek. Shit's getting real. Look for me down below and I might help you. Alrighty. Enough rest, I think. Having some weird dreams. Let's grab this torch. Again. Lever was just right here, I think. Oh, there's a snail buddy. I'm gonna start by hitting him with my long range ice spell that I Oops. I accidentally swung the torch instead of setting up a spell. Shock him. Finish him off with fire. There you go. No, come on! What a resilient snail. This fucker. There you go. Well, he gave more XP than the snails usually did, so he must be the tougher version of him used more spells, I guess. What is this? Then more hide vest. Light armor. Oh, I like light armor. That's our... Can we reach these areas? Doesn't look like it. Though none of my party members are archers, so not too worried. Got the key. We'll just reach right in and grab that, which is nice. Pressure plates, and there's a passage to rock. Rocks are the key. Oh, speaking of rocks, here's a loose one. Ah, that's how you get the arrow. Poison arrows at that. No, we could not figure those out the first time. I don't have anyone who can shoot a bow, but, you know, maybe there will be a shopkeeper or something later. Who knows? It's Grimrock. So let's go to Castle Fool's inventory, because he has a lot of the rocks.
put down pressure on these. Nope. Ah! What was that? Sort of gargoyle. Well done, Sandok. Missed. Twice. Weapons allowed inside. Hold on. Some turn. Maybe I could try using the knife for my inventory to access all I need it. Nice. I think I'll set up a poison cloud because you guys are like. Took a bit. Oh, this snail looks big. This is a big fat ass snail. This could be problematic. Ah, not too hard. It's rock. Grim crap, mushroom, and a key. And a loose rock. Ooh, those look interesting. Quainty shoes. Take a look. Protection plus one. Dexterity plus one. I like that for our Minotaur. But as lot, he did lose some protection there, unfortunately. I think I'm gonna switch some stuff up here. Him the bonus three pants. Because get a little more. We'll take the cap. On the cap. Boots. That. Heck, we'll be a little more set here. When he shoes, like give him plus one dexterity. I like that. That's a good bonus. I do have also an extra pair of sandals now. So let's give him the castle for one protection point. Yeah, might as well leave the knife in the meantime as well. Torch is dim. Down. Grab this torch. Enter thy grave. Sounds scary. Let's rest first. Back to full condition. Enter our, our grave in full condition. It locked me in. Set up some spells. I don't like the looks of this. Oh. A skeleton. Uh oh, there's more doors opening. Let's see why they called it a grave. Uh, I got one though. Good start. Uh, the poison cloud doesn't affect the skeleton. I guess I should have thought about that a little more, but 
you know, you never know. Now I do. Oh no, out of energy to cast that spell. Oh crud, there's one more too. Mages are getting low on casting power here. Throw a rock! Zero down. Ineffective. Ah, that was close, but we got them. It hurts to have extra items. Pull that switch. Tethered cloak. Might as well give that. Deck. A bone amulet. I'm not sure what that will do, but I'm gonna just equip it to one of the mages. This is like a thing. mage of wear. Scroll of ice shards, but I've actually figured that spell out. Because I think I learned it last game, so I'm gonna just leave. Spear and shield. Why not? Could be a merchant. The button. That does. Holding set. Take another sleep. Those skeletons were kind of tough. Rest it up. Teleportation. Looks like a teleporting energy went into the. Oh, it moved this sack. Okay. Uh, press this button again. Where'd the sack of items go? It's here. Um. Oh, well, that worked pretty fast. Check out what's in there. Look. E. Red. The leather cap. Their white armor. I don't think there was anything else in these holding cells. I'm pretty sure it was just that sack that I teleport through. I'm gonna move on. These. I think I have two at least. Oh my goodness. What's shaking? Spooky. Saving crystal. Or key. The left first.
Or just tell. Suspicious. Another one. Ah. Step. Oh, I think what the that that guy even come from. those little gargoyle looking things. I wonder what this next part will have. Or basically kind of those, skeletons, uh, snails, uh, mushroom people. I don't like mushroom people. Strong. Yes, so are the skeletons, but they seem to take a lot more damage from magics. rock there. Looks like this is calls for a rock. <laughs> Perfect. Open this door. Ah. Thought so. Whoops. So at least a little misleading equipping your fire mage with a torch, because you see the torch and you're like, oh, that looks like a fire spell. I realize this game is more complex than that. A dolphin castle gained a level. Excellent. Oh. Could get another air magic spell right off the bat, but again, I wouldn't actually know what I'm casting. And I, again, this level could just give me right away my second ice spell. So it's sort of like, seems to me, a little bit of a toss-up. That's nice that mages can eventually get also light armor proficiency. I never actually noticed that. I'm inclined to just sort of passively upgrade him a little more this level. So we're gonna get the two spells at five spellcraft, which as far as I remember are light spells. I'm just gonna do one point in this stuff defense for now. Oh. 
He gets another spot fire spell at level 7. Again, I won't know what it is, but I'm quite interested to find out this time. So I'm going to go for it. Then again, I do know kind of what this spell is. Not really, so. Now I'm going to have to play with her spells a bit. See if I can find out the new fire spell. I think it's a good start to use the old rune. I'm going to use the one under it to start with. Oh, that didn't work. Let's try... And X and a key. Middle one. Skilled enough to successfully cast that. Okay. try with this spell. Dang it. Alright. Well, for now, I'm gonna call this part two, and we'll see you next time.